Hey, it's Jan here. And in this video, I'll show you how to go from a waiting room on Zoom like this with text and an image or a logo to a playing an actual video message of yourself or anything that you want really so you can create a better experience for your participants. So let me show you how it works. First of all, you wanna go to the Zoom website and find the settings on the left side. And then one of the first things you're actually gonna see is waiting room. You wanna make sure that waiting room number one is enabled and number two, that you can see the customize waiting room option. Um, if you click this and it looks anything different than this, this means you probably will have to enable it and you might have to chat with customer support directly to have that enabled on your account. Really quick tip, if you ever want to chat with customer support, click the little chat bubble and just type in the word human. And as soon as you type in human, this little bot will know, okay, looks like I want to connect uh, with a real person and you can just click support and it will connect you to someone who can help you out. And you just let them know, hey, I want to enable the video in the waiting room on my account. Okay, we're going to end this chat and actually go to customize the waiting room. So there's three different options up here. One is the default screen, which just has a title and then your meeting topic. Um, the title you can customize. And one thing I like to do is Whenever you use I use text, add some emojis uh, for this one. If you ever want the emojis on a Mac, control command spacebar will bring up this fun little emoji keyboard on Windows. It's uh, the Windows and the period button um, that will bring that up. Then the second one is a logo and description. And this is what I used to have most of the time on my account because I just thought this is a little bit better, giving some more information, like, for example, reviewing the community agreements for most of my events. So I actually leave this up even if I have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people because it's a good reminder. Uh, be kind and supportive, stay engaged, present and curious, share vulnerageous stories, which is having the courage to be vulnerable, no hate speech or bullying, respect everyone's privacy and practice self-care. So you can change all of that description down here and you can add a logo. In my case, I added a little screenshot of myself, uh, a little picture of myself, which you can add and upload here. And now the third one is the new feature and you can see right here, it says, this feature is only available with version 5.7.3 or later, which is the most recent version Today is July 22nd, 2021. If that is the version that you have, you can use it. And I assume that it will only show up for participants who also have this version. So just another reminder to always, 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 when you host a workshop event experience, remind your participants to update their app to the most recent version so you can use all of these fun features. All right, I will click a video and here I actually already uploaded a short video message that I'll play for you. This uh, it can only be a short video. So 30 megabytes is not a long video. I actually would recommend that you keep it to a minute or less because of the way it shows up in participants um, screens. And I will show, sh share more about how that looks like and have a look in a moment. But right now, I'll give you an idea of what type of video messages you could be adding to your uh, waiting room. So this is what I recorded for a workshop that I have coming up. Hey, my name is Jan. I'll be your facilitator, your guide, your host for this awesome virtual experience today. And here's three things that you will need. Number one, you need paper and pen because we will be doing some creative drawing. Number two, Make sure you have some water around because you do want to stay hydrated for this. It's a hot day. And number three, I want you to look around your space and find one object that represents leadership for you. So find any object around you that you would say represents leadership for you because we'll need that for the first activity. All right. I will see you soon. Bye. So this is, of course, one way 
you can uh, use this feature and share some more information about the workshop, set expectations, remind your participants what they need. Or another great tip that I've actually uh, gotten from my friend um, Adam Sisme, he, he shared that you could simply create a little slide, animated slides of here's some Zoom tips, how are you going to make the best how are you going to make the most, make it the best Zoom experience and turn your participants into Zoom ninjas before they even join? So whatever you do, this is, I think, a great tool to create something really short. And here's why. This is how it actually shows up for participants. So uh, let me just play this again. So they will see the screen it will have the first frame i think as the the image um, when they join a meeting something like this so make sure the first frame is looking good uh, something that i didn't remember when i recorded this and actually let me make sure like you can still see me um, so when this plays on participant screens two things to keep in mind Number one, they have to press play for it to, to work. So maybe even adding a message, click play to watch this video before you join. Um, the other thing is it doesn't loop. So once this video has finished playing, it actually will just stop. And in this case, on a black screen, because that was the last frame of the video. Um, now, if the host admits you to the waiting to the meeting before you finish playing the video like right now then you basically cut off the video right where you were and that i think is one way where we might have to be a little bit more careful as hosts so think about when somebody shows up in the waiting room and they click the video and then you admit them, they might not actually see the video at all. So compared to having all of your participants show up at the time that the meeting starts, admitting them all, and then playing the video once everyone is there, where you can make sure that everyone can see it, these little waiting room messages are more, I think, for, for things that are a bonus. Maybe you could almost create it as a little a surprise gift like for the people who show up early they get to see or hear a little secret message to make it a little bit more fun and also get them to show up on time um, or teaching them a skill that they might need but is not necessary as you're still going to go over the different steps once people are in the meeting so here's my tips for you I'm really, really curious. How are you going to use this feature? Let me know in the comments. What type of video are you going to add to your waiting room? And if you want more Zoom tips, check out some of the other videos here. And please subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Bye.